The next section we'll actually be looking at is the work tab, but the other options here because they're not always discussed and they're not always used either. They're very circumstantial. So if we go to estimates first, and it'll give you a quick explainer of what all of these do. So estimates let you send out rough costs for work you're planning to do. And these are actually quite handy because you can create an estimate and you can send it over to your client to agree to that estimate. And once they do, you can convert the estimate into an invoice. So you don't have to create an invoice in addition to the estimate. And I'll just walk you through how that works quickly. So let's say we made an estimate to Apple and we don't have a project this time. And we've got the estimate date and yeah, I'm quite happy with all those options. And here I don't need any of those. So I'm just going to create a new estimate. And here is our estimate template. You can see it says estimate 001. And let's add an item to this. So I'm going to invoice five hours work for software debugging. This is just random. So, and per hour, my payment is going to be 50 pounds an hour. And since I'm not that registered just yet, I'm going to use 0% VAT. All right, there we go. There's our estimate. And now we can save the estimate as a PDF or we can send it by email. Now, if you save it as a PDF to email, just make sure you click mark as sent or you can click mark as approved if you're all good with that. So the estimate has been approved. And now what we can do is click this button to create an invoice from this estimate. Okay, so this is just taken us straight to the invoice template page. It's automatically added in the estimate details that we had before. And this invoice can now be sent to a client and it'll have the exact details that you want on here. So that's where estimates can be quite handy, but you don't have to use them if you're not planning to actually create any estimates. If, you're, if your services are quite straightforward and there's no need for estimates, then there's no need to use the estimate option on free agent. And if we go back to the estimates page, you'll see here that the status has been invoiced. So you know that one's been sent out and it's all good. 